Would you make me a coffee or two? I don't wanna head out half asleep. Hey guys, I was just thinking what a shame it was that we can't listen to music on my videos because I was listening to music, had to stop it because as you guys know copyright and everything but I was recently contacted by a guy on Instagram who said that I could use his music in my videos if I wanted to so we're gonna listen to some Willow's Young Crow while we're gonna paint over behind my clothing rail I have bought a paint test that we're gonna try out so I don't have enough paint for like the entire wall but we're gonna put it up and I'll see what I think so I'm gonna leave a link down below to Willow's and um, it's such a nice vibe, it's just so like cozy as you might be able to hear. I can now also say that I passed my driver's license yesterday. I now have a driver's license or like I have the small white paper that you get until they actually send you your, your actual, actual driver's license. So that's good, I've been so stressed out about it for a long time now and I think actually it's been one of the main things that have like messed with my head, that have made me like so confused and just like for like Friday, Saturday and Sunday I was up at my test Monday morning yesterday I've been like pretty much sick for three days like felt like I should throw up haven't been eating normally and like just not been well so it was such a relief to actually pass the test yesterday and yeah, it's just so nice. So, I will now show you. This is the paint. It's actually quite a big bottle that I got as a tester. My mom borrowed me a pencil. And here is the colors. And I have gone... Yeah, it is this one. Why does this look different today? I've gone for this one, Brandy Snaps. So we're gonna paint the wall now and see how it looks and I've also decided that I'm just gonna zoom in because it's so dark I've also decided that I'm going to take all of my clothes from this rail over to the new one today Because I need to move it away from the wall anyway, so I'm just gonna hang it up on my new beautiful rail that I'm so so excited about for one specific big reason that I'm gonna show you I found Luna yesterday behind all of my dresses. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it on camera. I can see that Luna has been eating my dress. So that's the main reason why I'm so 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 excited for the new rail because it's 180 in height, which is a very like high up rail compared to normal standard rails that you get in IKEA and stuff. So I'm gonna move it and I should actually clear out in my clothes soon. It's time. leftovers from you ruining my dress on the floor we are ready to see the color oh it looks good it does kind of look like an antique pink color would you make me a coffee or two don't wanna head out half asleep Swallowed a cannonball in my dream 
And it's pulling me back underneath my sheets It's freezing out the morning blues Wow, there were a lot more paint than I expected That's quite insane from that like small bottle of paint this is how it looks. Of course, the whole wall has not been painted. I actually have not decided yet if I'm going to paint over here and also down there or if I'm only going to keep it there. I think I'm only going to keep it there. Let me know down below what you guys would prefer, but I think I'm going to keep it as one square over there. But I love the color actually. It was exactly what I was hoping for. It is this dusty, rustic, um, pinkish color with like a warm red tone so I think it looks really good I must admit I'd actually love if the corner could just be like bare like that and then with a few paintings or something would look nice but I need to get my clothes back there and I've also just cleaned my uh, door it looked really like greasy so I've just cleaned it all looks really good so yeah can't wait to get that back in place and I'm also gonna go through it very soon I'm actually gonna photograph I have a few things in the living room that I'm going to sh photograph and put up on my Depop I have some home decor things some retro things a dream catcher so um, I will just do that I also have something else that I'm just gonna shoot I'm not gonna like vlog it it's not that interesting but I do have a few things that I'm gonna put up on my Depop just show them to you quickly I have a dread shampoo that I won't be using since I don't have dreadlocks. I have a dream catcher. I have this amazing vintage um, thing that you put on the table. It's so beautiful, but I have two that are pretty similar. So I'm gonna sell this one. This one that is also both a table runner, but I've also had it hung up on the wall. It looks really cool. I'm going to sell this one. A tiny little sunflower painting, so beautiful. A few hats that this is for dreadlocks. I don't have dreadlocks anymore. This is not really for dreadlocks, but it's just pretty big. I just don't really know. It has like this, but I don't know if anyone could like fix it if I sold it like pretty cheap. I just think it's such a shame just to like throw it away. So I'm thinking maybe some of you would love it and would love to fix it. And then I have this small brush chime that we have on the web shop but this one has a small pearl missing so therefore we couldn't sell it on the web shop so I'm gonna sell that very cheap on my Depop as well because I just have so much home decor and I've decided it's time to just like clear out a little bit because I also feel like I'm clearing up my mind sometimes and I like to switch out things it doesn't mean that I'm gonna go super minimalistic or that I'm not gonna get new stuff when I'm out thrifting and stuff I just need to like switch it out once in a while so that's why they're gonna be up on my Depop so I'm gonna link that down below I'm gonna get cracking I have just washed the babes Decided to put them out here. The bamboo is like dried out, so I thought maybe I would give it a bigger wash. And also, I've like washed the leaves, they were kind of dusty. The same goes with this one down here. It needed water, and then the leaves were pretty dusty. And then I've just given this one a little bit, not too much, just like the usual amount. It's looking beautiful still. So I'm just gonna leave these out here and lock the door so that Luna is not gonna go out there and eat them. Hey guys. It's Wednesday and it's time to put, I've decided that I'm going to put the rail over here um, to then see what I think about the background color, if I like it or not. I think it's a lot easier to see that if I put the rail over there because that's where it's supposed to be. I have started to put up some things on my Depop so I thought I could just as well look through the clothes now when I put it back. And if there's something that I don't, haven't used for a long time and don't really use then it's time and it's so ridiculously warm today I don't know what's going on because the weather is not super outside it's just so warm I feel like I should just be naked so yeah let's go through the clothes <laughs> blah, blah, blah. 
There we go. Now I just have to give myself time to really think about what I think about it. What I think about the wall color, if I would prefer it white. And then my idea was to put two small gold mirrors up there. I don't know, maybe a painting would be better and then the gold mirrors over there. I'm going to have to think about it and just breathe. Um, yeah, let me know down below what you guys think, but of course it is going to be my decision. So, would it be better in white? I'll just think about it. I have collected a good pile of things from my rail that I've put into my office. I'm gonna upload it to my Depop as soon as possible. I now thought I would go through this cabinet because the dream would be that some of these sweaters would fit in there. But as you can see for now, <laughs> this looks really, really messy. Like I just throw everything in there so it looks like it's completely packed, which it shouldn't be, but I'm gonna look through the things that are in there, maybe add some things to the pile, add some things to my uh, charity pile, and then I'll see if I can fit some of the sweaters in there, because I don't want it to look all too messy on the shelf up there. I'm just going to update you afterwards, I'm not gonna do a time lapse, because I feel like taking off my clothes and just sitting there in my underwear, it's so warm. So I'm gonna see you after, when it's all done, which you do like a are you ready? There we go. Like look how organized it is and look how many things we managed to fit in there. There are no sweaters on top anymore. No sweaters. I'm still looking at this a lot throughout the day considering if I would like a white background color more. But this is looking so good. I'm really pleased Julianne came and helped me out. So I have like my sweaters in here. But yeah, as I just said, I still haven't decided if I want the back wall to be um, this dusty pink or not. If I just want to paint it white. I haven't decided yet. This is, by the way, the next day. Julianne came and helped me out yesterday and then we went for a ride. I drove my mom and my sister to Bones, a place on Fyn that we have never been before. It was actually pretty cozy. Um, so yeah, we drove there and I just decided not to vlog. I don't know, for some time, I don't know, a week or two, I've just felt like I've, had, I've wanted to take times where I just, I don't know, I'm not online and not thinking about creating content. So when they asked if I want to go for a ride with them, I was like, absolutely, yes, I will, but I will not bring my vlogging camera. So yeah, but I just showed you the results. And now I'm actually going to have something very exciting because they're done. The Wonderlock shampoos are done. I have one calming lavender and then I have cooling peppermint so cooling peppermint is the one with the red w and the other one is with the turquoise one but they are now like done when you watch this they are in the web shop they are i'm just gonna read it up from this one it says on the back of it that it is organic vegan biodegradable residue free and the bottle is 100 percent recycled plastic so um i'm going to leave a link down below to them so that you can check them out if you want to but they are like supernatural formulated like supernatural and lovely and in a collaboration with raw roots organic which is a very small organic handmade danish uh, brand for hair care and stuff so yeah i'm very very excited i photographed those yesterday just did not lock that and uh, put them up on the shop today. So I'm just going to make a small video actually. That's why I'm back in my office. I'm going to make a small video for um, the Wonderlocks Instagram. Just like about the shampoos. And yeah, just short how they're made. And how lovely they are. And then um, yeah, 
it's actually five o'clock it's thursday it's five o'clock i have been working all day i've just not been walking um yeah and i think i don't know how long this walk is it might be super short but i think i'm gonna end it here and just let it be a beginning of my bedroom makeover video not because there is so much more to do but like i don't know it's a makeover video, an organizing video, and yeah, I'll end it because I think three days is enough for it not to get too confusing. So leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and did not find it too strange. <laughs> and um, I might vlog Saturday where I have a day off. So yes, thank you for watching guys. I'm gonna see you all soon. Bye.